earlier we have gone through quite a few important keyword arguments such as delimiter header names etc when it comes to read and score csv to import data from csv files into data frame now it is time for us to get into a bit advanced concept related to working with large data sets using something called as chunks if you try to import the entire data set from csv file into data frame irrespective of the size as the size grows you might end up running into memory related issues to overcome that you should be able to work with larger data sets in the form of chunks chunks is also known as parts of the file let's go to the details you will understand what i'm talking about when it comes to dealing with larger data sets first i'll define a variable by name chunk underscore size here i'm specifying 100 before going further let me actually get the shape of this shape is the one which will give us details about number of records and number of columns when it comes to toyota underscore data it have 5000 records and seven columns so instead of creating data frame using all these 5000 records i wanted to create a data frame for every 100 records for that purpose first i have to define a variable by name chunk underscore size the value that is assigned to it is nothing but 100 now we can define a variable by saying toyota chunk reader then equal to pd dot read underscore csv then the path the path is nothing but this one then we have to add one more keyword argument the keyword argument that is supposed to be added is nothing but chunk size In my case, the variable name is nothing but this one. Now, chunk size is defined as 100. When you run this, it will not create a data frame. Let's check the type of this. You can see it is of type text file reader from Pandas. It is not a data frame. If you check the type of Toyota data, which we have created earlier, it is of type data frame. Now, when it comes to Toyota chunk reader, you cannot use functions such as the head. Let me try using head on top of this. It will fail. It will throw error. You can see even you cannot use shape. Even this will fail. It is because Toyota chunk reader is not of type data frame. It is of type text file reader from pandas. Here to read data from this, you have to create data frame. For that, you have to iterate through this. Keep in mind, this is a generator. If you are familiar about Python generator, you can loop through the generator and you can process the whatever is there in the generator. Uh, the way you can actually process this generator is like this. Uh, you can say for Toyota chunk in Toyota chunk reader. Then you can actually say print chunk dot shape in this case for each chunk i am trying to get the shape it should return 100 and uh, the 100 will be repeated 50 times because we have 5000 records now let me run this you can see the outcome here in case if you wanted to print the first five records from each of these 100 records you can use head here now let's run this yeah, the, the generator is already processed. It is not printing anything. Again, you have to start from here. You have to run this first. And then you can check the type if you want. Then you can run this. Now you see it have printed five records from each chunk along with the header. This is how you can actually take care of going through larger data sets in the form of chunks. Here I have only shown shape and head but when it comes to processing the data in chunks you can apply all transformations as per the business requirements. We will get into real time scenarios where we can actually process the data in chunks at a later point in time. For now just keep in mind if you have to process larger data sets and if you have to import data from larger CSV into the data frames uh, instead of converting the data into the data frame in one shot you use chunks 